Oh man, uh, we're back in person, everybody. Yep, and we're here. Uh, it's uh, episode two sixty five. Thank you, Matt. Threw I threw Matt, a five Matt. up for him. Say so no. It's because I like I never truly know. I, I sometimes get it right. The only reason I ever know is just because I edit the evens, you edit the odds. So I'm like, oh, I'm not editing this week. And last week I had two sixty four. So two sixty five. I see. I gotta do a little bit of math. Uh, yeah. Also, two episodes ago, we were doing the math of uh, like how how many days or hours the podcast is, and we went a long route about it. Mm-hmm. That's what I always do with that kind of shit. I like. There's a much easier way, but I just take a much stupider. I'm not good way. at puzzle games either because that's what my my brain is just like. I guess that's that's how to explain being stupid to someone. Your your brain is making the connections in the wrong way. Yeah, and like. <clears throat> you're still like getting down to it, but, but like you're but, taking more, you're, you're exerting more effort into figuring out a problem. Somebody legitimately getting mad at us for, for being bad at math. It's like, I, I can't help it. it. It's like, I just don't know how to do it. Like I can't, we got the right answer. I can't. I, yeah, point, we did. Right? We did get the right we just answer. Went a little, that's what's what it matters, right? We got from A to B. Maybe exactly. we went, we showed C&D. our work, you know? Yeah. We showed the work. Exactly. It's a little extra work, but it shows that we have more skills than just the one. Apparently it was like just incredibly simple. I could have just divided like one number and then it would have been like, yeah, like oh, 24. Yeah. 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 But I was like, okay, there's this many minutes in a day. Yeah, and I know. <laughs> I, I mean, I did the same thing. It's okay. It's like, I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't pretend to be smart. <sighs> just took a nice little swig yeah, of nice water. Nice swig of water. But I, I'm, I'm COVID free or I'm COVID negative. I'm not contagious anymore. I still have some congestion and you can probably hear it. And, uh, <sighs> but, but, but you feel, you feeling good. I feel, I feel all right. You're feeling on and off still strong. I still feel a little bit weak and a little bit, uh, you're feeling able. I'm feeling able body. For sure. <laughs> okay, I, I'm feeling like there it is. a little, a little fatigue, uh, comes on and off. And, and then also, uh, you know, just the, the fucking cough. It's really bad at night sometimes. I'll be laying in bed and just, uh, you know, like, sounds like I'm dying. Uh, but I'm not. I, I made it. And now, I mean, I got to be super immune from COVID now because yeah. I'm vaxxed and this served as a booster shot. I have, like, there's, you're supposed to get your booster shot, what do they say, like six months after? Mm-hmm. We got vaxxed in March and April. Yeah. So six months later, I got COVID right when the antibodies are, are, are wearing off. Now I got a super huge boost of antibodies that my body created. And now look at this, man. I can never get COVID again. Ever. Ever. I do feel good right now knowing that like, m- most likely I'm probably safe for a while. Yeah. I could get COVID again, but yeah. hopefully by the time I would be like, antibodies are, are, are down enough, it's hopefully this shit will be much more in control. Could have could have we'll see. skipped to this point last year saying the exact same thing. Yeah, but there's no way this time next year we're gonna be saying the same thing. <clears throat> I, th- I think people did predict that this would go on to like 2022, 2023 area because it was such like a huge monumentous thing that happened. Like I don't know, it just it was the first time in a long time where I got that feeling. You remember that feeling when school was canceled because of a snow day or something, mm-hmm. where it was just like everything's can everything's closed, everything's ca- canceled everything's canceled nowadays for like four days it was like whoa and then it was like uh oh and then it just got kind of tiring it's like this is bad that's why i I was like i did a lot this week i went to like a show the the porter robinson show yeah you went twice yeah he begged me to show up so i just kind of mosey moseyed on down and he uh he gave me a uh, a front row seat you bailed on kendrick for that too he was pissed (laughs) i did yeah, so, so you might get a fun. You saw Toro Imoy too, mm-hmm. which I didn't know, and that I'm very jealous of that. I've always wanted. I love him. I got a poster of him last week. Did you? Mm-hmm. Is he shirtless? Yeah, he is. Fuck. I got I got a cool po- so I ordered a bunch of posters for my place, and I I should have known better than to get them on Redbubble because the print quality is fucking awful. But you know, it's I'll use them as placeholders until I get better stuff for my walls. It's better than nothing. Part of me wants to just get like Carson has a uh, Carson Tucker has like a big ass printer. Like really nice one, and he can print his own posters like super high quality. And I was like, oh, that'd be so cool. I could just like get whatever I want online, print mm-hmm. it out, put it on the wall, and it's like boom, legit poster quality, dude. I'm such an idiot. I fucking I don't know how I did this, but I had a really big poster that was curled, and I needed to flatten it. So I did the thing where I put a bunch of heavy shit on top for like three days, and I'm like, it's gonna be good, good by now, like three four days. I fu- I put it the wrong way, so like like I put the poster the like face down the wrong way. 
So I did nothing the, the whole <laughs> so four days to like rolled. flatten it. I was like, I pulled it back up and immediately was like, whoop. And I was like, oh, <laughs> fuck. I fucked. I, I'm such an idiot. How did I, why did, how did I do that? Did you um, get it right eventually? Uh, did you fix the, did you fix your mistake? A little bit. Yeah. I just kind of nailed it into the wall. I was like, eh, fuck. <laughs> doesn't look very good, but you know, COVID was, was, a was, was a fun experience for me. It's nice to be back. First day, really back in the office together. Got to pick, pick, picking up steam again to get back. Uh, see, it's easy to survive, folks. Mm-hmm. Now see what the big deal is. My buddy Matt here survived. Yep, I did. Just like the common cold. My grandpa might have died from COVID last week, but nope. that's Mm-mm. yeah, prove it. Unrelated. My grandpa did die from COVID last week. Right after my grandma too. I lost both my grandparents last month. And where were you, Ryan? You didn't send any roses to my door. You didn't send any chocolates or stuffed animals saying, I'm sorry. Hey, well, like, I'm the one who flew all the way back to actually show up to the funeral. <sighs> the maskless funeral. It was beautiful. <laughs> what if... Except there was a mask on the, uh, on the corpse. Right, and I, I thought that was, that was tasteless. Uh, because it's like, come on, really? Like, you gotta put your political agenda on my dead grandfather now. Uh, I, I, you know, they live streamed the funeral, and I was just wondering, like... Like if I'm sitting there, is watching it, and then I just see you like in off the corner, like sitting there, just like with no mask on, (laughs) dabbing your eyes. You know, you have like your arm around one of my cousins or something. (laughs) The fuck? (laughs) Bye, Jackson. I mean, that would have been an epic troll if he would have flown across the country and then driven six hours into the middle of nowhere to go to a funeral. Would you have laughed? Yeah. Um, I was like, man, man, you know what? I should just, I should just get on Twitch and and do a reaction stream exactly to my my grandmother's funeral. You know, like that's I think cheese that's cheese. It's just like crunch on him in the mic. All right, can we get a, can we get a hype train going? <laughs> Thank you, uh, Rosie Tree, for the uh, three hundred bits. Why am I from Boston now? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why you'd be. I don't know. Yeah, but it it really is true about like uh, they were married for like sixty something years. Prove so it. it you didn't even let me say what I was going to say. <laughs> it's true that like when one goes, the other one always goes right after. I wonder why that is. Does it prove that they were married for 60 oh. something years? Well, I'm sure that I can find some kind of record in the South Carolina database. Well, I don't something see it. Of, of my grandparents being married. I don't see it. Um, I mean, I don't see it either, but I know that they were married for 60 years. I, I did find actually years ago, I found a VHS tape that was their uh, 30 year anniversary like VHS tape could have been actors. It could. Yes, it could have been. I wasn't alive yet. Uh, but I, you know, I watched it part of it for some reason and it had awesome fucking effects. It was like, back, so it was edited. It was. Yeah. It, it was edited, but like back when very, very early effects, so like there'd, very be, interesting. there'd be a transition where it's like a dude throws a baseball and it like flies into the screen and like a, a guy hits it back at the screen. And then like the video like is inside the ball. It's like really early, but really cool stuff. Cause my grandma did a, my grandma was a video editor. And she did it with all the, uh, my other grandma, not the one that just passed. No. The one that kicked it in 20, 2005. But uh, she was a video editor um, and, and like the old type with like the film. She gave it to you. Yeah. That's where I got it it's from. It's in your blood. Little did it's she literally know. literally in your blood. She passed that on to me so I could become Markiplier's editor. Exactly. She had ne- I wish she could have stayed alive along, uh, long, long enough to see me. To see the Freddie Fazbear compilation? Yeah. She would have been so proud of me. Oh my God. Luckily, you know. I have one grandparent left. Uh, a month ago, I had two. Now I have zero. And uh, I'm also, I'm, it, I, I did not have a very close relationship with my grandparents. They were very, lived a very isolated life by themselves. So I, I didn't, didn't really communicate with them that often in my, my life. I only saw them like maybe like 10, 15 times in my life, if that. So we, we weren't very close, but they were, they were both very wonderful people. And... They will be missed. Well, I, I don't think that's for you to... Well, Jesus will decide Well, that. yeah. Jesus ultimately decides if they're wonderful Or God, people. sorry. Mm. All these same things. Yeah, one mm. of the same. Uh, but, you know, yeah. Uh, rest in peace to the, the Watson grandma and grandpa. Thank you for... Uh, I'm sure, that, I'm sure that, that you guys are looking down and smiling on your, your grandson desecrating your... Your name. While the Joji R.I.P. remix plays. <laughs> R.I.P. See, I was going to play that at the funeral. I would die the trippy for red you. Joji R.I.P. song. I was going to play the trippy red Joji song at their <laughs> funeral, but they wouldn't let me. 
which I thought was crass because I said, well, you know, you guys get to play your organ music. Please Maybe play let- that at my funeral. <laughs> that would. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't be able. OK, you have to do an interpretive dance to it. Too, if you if you pass white gloves, <laughs> if you passed and I told your mom, promise me this, you know, now. your mom would let promise me do me it. this now. OK, I have to do the an interpretive dance and in white gloves at your funeral. Dude, so many people like would just be like, "Why is he doing this? Why is he taking all the attention off of Ryan?" And, and I'm not allowed. It's to... Like most of like my like family or anybody would like listen to the podcast. Do I do I have to do it in a way too where it's like clearly like I'm trying to take put the attention on me? Yeah. <laughs> so it, it doesn't even look like I'm trying to like memorialize you. It looks like I'm just trying to like get the spotlight on me for a and bit like get, learn to move funeral. really really well. So it's like obviously there's one point where you're just like showing off. It's like all right, man. Like, <laughs> I do it like three three like, times in a row. Like five backflips in a row. I do it three separate times throughout the funeral. <laughs> like, oh. like music just starts playing and you turn off all the lights except for like a spotlight. You get a buddy to like shine on you. With like sunglasses on and like you'll, my, you'll put my diamond earrings in. You'll pull curtains on like uh, my picture so like the attention can go to you. I just I just replaced your picture with just a picture of me. <laughs> Like like a headshot, <laughs> like no, it's like it's like a picture of you, and it says memorializing Ryan Matt Watson, <laughs> but it's my picture. <laughs> yeah. Wait, well, okay, here's the thing: you know for a fact, if I told your mom this is what you wanted, she would let me do it. You know she would let me do it. Maybe you know she would, dude. She would. She might at first be like, Matt. Actually, no. I changed I, my mind. I think she would. I want you to. I want you, and everybody has to stay the whole time. And you have to play Donkey Kong Country until you beat it. <laughs> so some of you guys might have known this. Uh, Ryan and, and I, or myself and Ryan, uh, had a Let's Play YouTube channel. And if you don't know what a Let's Play is, it's uh, we used to play video games and, and, make, and co- make jokes over them for oh, people to watch. Kind of like, you know, like football. You know, people watch sports and, oh, sports. you know, nice. and people commentate. Nice. So uh, to memorialize Ryan, I'm going to be doing a full playthrough of Donkey Kong Country. Um, and Donkey Kong Country too, what? and Billy Hatcher because those were his favorite games. So <laughs> I'll say a word. Now imagine I was sitting there like, oh, <laughs> oh, damn, dude, dude, that Fuck! Looks, that looks like God balls. damn it! Like you get like actually you just get like really angry. Wow, looks like he's good at sucking cock. <laughs> like in like open cat, you're right there next to me. Open you have casket. a little button that plays my laugh whenever you <laughs> make a joke. It's, but there's only one audio clip of it, so it just keeps repeating <laughs> and it cuts. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how I would be able to convince your mom to let me do. Well, actually, I wouldn't. You just play. The, uh, she listens to the podcast. So. That's true. Well, also, I feel like at the funeral, she wouldn't stop me if, you know, being your best friend. If I stood up at your funeral and and I said, like, I interrupt and I'm like, I I just wanted to say something as you know, as his best friend, I I wanted to say something. No one's gonna be like, sit down. You know, they're going to let me say whatever it is. Yeah. So that's when I could be like, I just want to say something. And then secretly have it coordinated where I, I'm like, hit it. And then the <laughs> lights come down. It's do, 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 do. And plays whatever music, the trippy Red Joji song. Oh, sure. It sounded like you were about to do, 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 do. My name is Cleveland Brown and I'm proud to be. <laughs> you know, do that one. Yeah. Yeah, man. Can't wait for your funeral, dude. Yeah, it's going to be great. I'm going to listen back to this a year from now and be sobbing. Like <laughs> a year from now. It's more time than I thought. Yeah. Well, not well. It, that doesn't mean you have more time. That just means a year from now, I will be. Oh, whatever day it is, I'll be sobbing, listening back to it. God works in mysterious ways. These YouTubers predicted their own death. <laughs> Little is known about how psychics really pull off their extraordinary predictions. Do they really have a connection to the other side? <laughs> we may never know, but, but one thing is certain: <laughs> that that Matthew and Ryan predicted something that could not have possibly have been um predicted <laughs> i love the idea of one of those channels leaving their bad takes and when they can clearly just cut them out so easy and redo it there's sometimes i'll watch like a like a game review channel that's like not GameSpot or ign it's like a, a more creator based like right, just right, one right. person and they'll leave it'll be like Ezio is the pinnacle of Assa- Ezio is the pinnacle of Assassin's Creed, and it's just like, it's like, oh damn! I love we've done that before by accident. Oh like, yeah, in our in an, 
it, like we've gotten like our ad agency has emailed us and they're like, hey, uh, you left a bad take into into the MeUndies ad. And I'll listen back and be like, if you need new one, if if you need new undies for the <laughs> underwear season, it's going to be like, oh, shit. Because sometimes when you're like listening back, you, you, you just like skip right over that. Like it just sounds normal because you're so used to hearing so many takes of it. Uh, that's 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 good. though. That's fucking that's golden. golden we actually, brown. you know, we did that in. Uh, in last year's uh, the the Christmas Eve sermon video, mm-hmm. there's a part where you're like, "Now I, now I," and we just left it on purpose <laughs> instead of cutting it out. So it's <laughs> yeah. like there, there's a part where Ryan like stops and restarts, and it's fully <laughs> it's fully real. Man, I love that. I loved making that video. It was so long. People were like not expecting a fucking forty five minute. It's also a very divisive video. Mm-hmm. Like it's either I love either that, I think, it was all improv. We just sat down and press play on the camera and just went for forty five minutes, and then we just edited it and threw it up on Christmas Eve. It's like either you love it or you hate it. That's what I've. That's what I remember after like that. Like even during the live stream, people, it was like very uh, like on or off. Some people were, were they didn't like the emergency weather alert, <laughs> but I mean, take it up with the National Weather Service. I, it's dude, it's a vibe. The National Weather Alert Service, yeah, it's a dude, straight up vibe. You should make a like a like a, a noise album where you just sample the <laughs> and then like chop it and screw it. Wake up, sheeple, dude! You could make Ryan some- McGoggles in his most ambitious project <laughs> yet. <laughs> Welcome to my funeral, <laughs> dude. Fucking, I I really uh, you know that if we die, you know, in the next few years. Some one of those YouTube channels is going to find some this? podcast clip and and be like. Channel Super Mega w- was known for their f- funny videos, but one of them predicted their own death and then play the clip from like the podcast. And it's like McGee was fatally struck by a hailstone on July 2nd, 2022. <laughs> Peep, that happens, right? Yeah, yeah. Like I that. mean, it's a fucking heavy ass <laughs> ball of ice. He's struck by a hailstone. That's probably not a bad way to go if it's big enough. Oh, because, you're dying, and your brain's like well, your your lights are going on and off in the cold. It I, probably I know, sucks. You're you, probably well, like, no hail's usually in the in the heat. It's in the summer usually, which which is why it's so weird. It'll be hot outside, and it's ice. And, dying from hail, I feel like okay, it could be horrible because I feel like it could hit you, and then you're like, uh, or it could hit you and just instantly lights out, you know, and which I feel like is what it gets a fucking ball of ice, you know, and it's falling from miles high. So it's 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 at terminal velocity. I remember in South Carolina, fucking, like just like it would just be hard. It would sound like little pebbles, like hitting the windshield. Sometimes like it would just like a there'd like be one big, big one. one. It'd be like, <laughs> yeah, I like, love oh, dude. It's so cool. It, it hailed here once. I remember we were just like chilling at the Plex and we looked outside and it's fucking Tons of hail pouring down. I've never seen Disgusting big hail. Disgusting hail. I've only seen little, like the little pea sized ones. Little hail. Little hail. I've seen the little tiny ones. And I like, I like going outside and being like, whoa, catching it in your hands. Yeah. It's like, it's summertime. Why is there ice falling from the sky? Why, why does that happen? It's usually a sign of when there's a tornado coming. I know that. We'll, hail is associated we'll with, together, with tornadoes. Matthew. You asked and I shall. Yeah? Yeah. Watch this. I'm going to figure it out. It's going to be epic. I mean, it's probably just because of the temperature up. You know what it is? Probably high. tornadoes are when cold air and hot air clash. So it's probably the cold air. Oh shit! Is so fast, like it that the ice freezes and then it 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 falls before it has time to melt. Hailstones are formed when raindrops are carried upward by thunderstorm updrafts into. Ex- oh, why didn't we have one recently? I wanted a hailstorm. We we just had a pretty decently sized thunder and lightning storm in L.A. Dude, and that was awesome. Too. It was all aw- yeah. Like I was so ex- I was I was in my I was in my stew on my computer and it was a little like overcast out, but I had my windows like my curtains down, but mm-hmm. I could tell it was kind of overcast. And then I just heard like, and I was like, okay, some of the thunder was like really fucking like I, I was like, damn, I was like, what's that? But no, in I, LA, I don't think I've ever I've ever experienced in my at least six years of living here. I think that was the biggest thunderstorm I've experienced. That one. It might have been a little heavier where you were because it, it wasn't. I was around super, downtown LA. 
Oh, yeah. It wasn't super heavy where I was. Lightning but it was, would stick to the sky for three to five dude, full seconds. I saw one bolt that like I was I was in my car and it just it was nighttime uh, and it fucking just went across and split into two. It was so cool. And I'm I, not talking about the biggest thunderstorm I've ever experienced. I'm talking just strictly L.A. I think the biggest one was a couple years ago in February. Remember when it rained for like a week straight? It was like a week long thunderstorm. It was like two weeks. Yeah. And yeah. I, that was, was crazy. I was like, oh, this is great. We were working at the Grumps at mm -hmm. the time. I remember people didn't want to come in because it was like LA shuts down when it rains because people drive like fucking how idiots people drive here when it rains like in South Carolina when it snows yeah which like the rest of the country bit. they drive through all that weather perfectly fine well it's just because I think in South Carolina not too many people have winter tires no and they also don't know what to do if you hit black eyes or black eyes either um and and like the lightning I heard it and I was like okay well, it's Los Angeles. That could that could just be a meth lab exploding down the street, <laughs> yeah. you know, like or, you know, or gunshots. Uh, and then I heard it again. I was like, no. And I went and I checked the Los Angeles Doppler radar. And I was like, no fucking way. And I went on Twitter and I see thunder trending. And I was like, <sighs> yeah, that's how I always confirm any any type of 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 weather or geological uh, anomaly. If I think I felt an earthquake or I think I hear thunder, I go on Twitter and it's like my whole feed's like that <laughs> so it, it started raining like I remember I was outside when it started like to like fall down I was at like the Museum of Natural History and then bada boom bada bing I got to enjoy the thunder and lightning storm just driving like that's downtown. the best I opened up my windows and it was like overcast around like my little computer setup and I just like watched the rain go down the windows and so I turned down my my lights so nice so peaceful and like it's just such a good pleasant feeling I, I, I think, just miss it. I miss oh, I miss overcast weather. I miss rain. That's it's just I miss overcast. There's something about being stuck in the same weather consistently. And I'm sure people who are stuck in like a cold, always raining type of location are like, I want to. I would love to visit yeah. California. Or I'd visit take California Florida over or wherever. Visit Hawaii, wherever the fuck you want to see the sun. Uh, but like, I'm not necessarily complaining because I I would definitely take the you know sunny, no humidity every day over fucking like cold, wet, dark every day. But you, yeah, I do. Humidity just, is the worst. I hate that shit. Like oh. the minute you get off of a plane. Oh yeah, when you like fly across the country and you get yeah. off the plane, it's like a fucking. The worst was when I got off the fucking plane in Bangkok. It was like stepped oh, outside and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> it was like a hundred degrees. Like and, you can feel the air. Like you're stepping into like it's like you're it's like your you're lungs, in a you solution. Feel it your lungs. It's like you're in water, but you're not. You're in like you're in like you're in the thick air. Well, you are in water. Like the, there's just a lot more water in the air than where you just were. So it's like you're you're in like you're in you're in an air water. ocean, bro. Essentially, yeah. But I I remember in South Carolina, I love like getting caught in the rain and like. Like when I went back in, in July, I would sit on the beach at night in a lawn chair and watch the thunderstorms. And I, all I wanted was to like to come rain on me. Uh, but here, if like the rain touches me, I'm like, ah, oh, because you just know it's, it's concentrated filth and yeah. smog and <laughs> yeah. chemicals and piss and shit and fucking radioactive stuff and, and soot. Like the, it's so acidic. The rain here is like it touches you and you, you feel disgusted because it's <laughs> it's like so much just concentrated, just garbage where south carolina it would rain enough and there's the ocean and shit too yeah. so it's like okay it's still not you know rain's never clean but it's like it's better remember learning about the water cycle you have a water cycle <laughs> what that's awesome dude you drive it around town <laughs> yeah dude <laughs> Woo! that's crazy yeah. that was epic that was epic too you know what else is epic oh Batteries. god here they go yeah a uh, sponsor break bye well we'll be back after the battery <sighs> So, have you ever browsed in incognito mode? It's probably not as incognito as you think. And why would it be? What? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Incognito mode, Matthew, like the Chrome browser itself, is a Google product. And Google has made its fortune by tracking your movements online. There's even a $5 billion class action lawsuit against the company in California where it's accused of secretly collecting user data. Google's defense? Incognito does not mean invisible. So how do you actually make yourself as invisible as possible online, you might ask? Well, you use ExpressVPN like I do. And, and Matt does. <clears throat> Turns out that even in incognito mode, your online activity still gets tracked and data brokers still get to buy and sell your data. Data harvesters use your IP to uniquely identify you and your location, but with ExpressVPN, your connection gets rerouted through an encrypted server and your IP address is masked. 
Every time you connect to ExpressVPN, you get a random IP address shared by many other ExpressVPN customers. That makes it harder for third parties to identify you or, you know, harvest your data. Best of all, ExpressVPN is super easy to use. No matter what device you're on, phone, laptop, or smart TV, all you have to do is tap one button for instant protection. I've been using ExpressVPN, and it makes me feel super safe. Is it fun? Yes, it is very fun to use. And it's safe? And safe. And simple. And easy. Very fun, though. So if you really want to go incognito and protect your privacy, secure yourself with the number one rated VPN. Visit expressvpn.com slash supermega and get three extra months for free. That's expressvpn.com slash supermega. Go to, again, go to expressvpn.com slash supermega to learn more. We all shop online, unless we're Neanderthals. But if you're not a Neanderthal, then you probably shop online. And you've definitely seen that promo code field taunt you at checkout. Going, eh, we bet you wish you had a code. Thanks to Honey, manually searching for those coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. It supports over 30,000 stores online, ranging from sites that have tech and gaming products to popular fashion brands and even food delivery. Here's how it works. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. When you check out, the Honey button drops down, and all you have to do is click Apply Coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site, and if Honey finds working coupons, you'll watch the prices drop right before your eyes. Recently, I was sitting at my dang computer, and I was like, oh, I can actually order like food instead of from the delivery apps. I can do it on the computer. And Honey jumped in uh, as I was checking out, and boom, bada boom, bada bing, over 50% off my order. I dined that night with exquisite pleasure. Honey has found its over 17 million members over $2 billion in savings. Part of that was my McDonald's order. So if you don't already have Honey, you could straight up be missing out on free money. It's literally free and installs in a few seconds. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. And when the holiday season's coming up, you know, you better start, uh, you gotta start using that Honey so you can, you know, save some money on those gifts. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash megacast. That's joinhoney.com slash megacast. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. I got jury duty. Do you? Mm -hmm. Sucks to suck, bro. But it was supposed to be today, and I postponed it. Oh, shit. Uh, Because... I, I just like I was like you eventually I, just have to serve it. Yeah, you could like I was like we got to get back to Super Mega Man. Like we had to take so much time off from COVID. Like I want to do very do. Did it come in the mail, mm-hmm. dude? What if you just happen to just accidentally just not see it and throw it out? That's see I don't know. Uh, it, like I got it in the mail. It was like official jury summons in a yellow envelope. I was like, yep, I know what this is, and I got excited. Oh, honestly, I, so th- they make it very apparent. Just yeah, in a, like a white on the envelope. outside, it says like jury summons. Yeah, and then you like you open it up and as your like badge inside. But how much they fuck up the mail here, and like it, like I could see someone they only just not one. getting it. And also, it was I only got it like two weeks before my summon date. But I just went on the website and I like signed up for my jury shit, and it was like, do you need to postpone? And I said yes. And just show me a calendar, and I just chose March next year. And they're like, okay, you've been postponed. So now, like, some week in March in 2022, I have jury duty. So you guys can listen up on the podcast uh, in March. That means when, you have when to I'll spill all the tea. Dude, you're going to have to deliberate. I've always wanted to do jury duty. I, it sounds like my mom and I are on both on the same page. We both love jury duty. Are you going to be, like, <laughs> that guy on, like, the jury, like, in the jury, like, when you're having the talk about, like, the case or whatever? Like, the guy's just, like, taking it too seriously. He's like, come on, man. We just want to go home. <laughs> I know. You're like, no, no, no. Like, hold dude, on. Like, he, he... Innocent until proven he guilty. He hit the dude with his car. Like, the evident, like... Yeah, but, you know, there's always two sides of the story. <laughs> I know, and we, we we heard his side of the story. He, but, but there might be more we don't know. He said, I'm going to kill that bitch. Run her over. Right, but, you know, sometimes people say things they don't mean. He had multiple dash cams. Here's the thing. I, I've always won jury duty because I just think... It it sounds fun, but I I feel like I'm gonna get some fucking case that's like you hit my car and 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 ran away and then we <laughs> found course. your license plate so and I'm gonna have to sit there for like two hours but it's still gonna take all week over some stupid shit but like aren't there cases that like they, they there are cases where they don't need a jury so like it has to be like something that's of if, interest w- that yeah if they take it it's you know it's if they always decide if they if they want to go to a jury trial. If they if like, let's take this to trial. That's when you get the jury. I would do anything to be on Chris Chan's jury. 
I wouldn't be able to for conflict of interest, but yeah, God, you know, those, those, they're going to be in for a, for a rude awake, like a surprise. Those, it's going to be like 60 year old, like people from fucking Rockersville, Virginia. And they're going to be like, all right, I got jury duty. Let's see what kind of shoplifting thing happened. Oh my God. <laughs> and they're going to have to go through so goddamn much evidence. Yeah. They're going to have to watch. The Gino documentary. I wonder. I wonder. Or, if- yeah, I, maybe it'll be even simpler than that. Like it. Like I'm sure. Like, I mean, courts get like kind of in, insane people all the time that go through there. That like say say the darndest things, right? And this, but this is a big case. I would definitely say like people are going to be surprised, but I wonder if it will catch on as much. Because, like, I I wonder if the general public is as interested well, Chris in is, that as... Chris, Chris is, like, known around the area. Like, well-known. So, like, it around would be an town. unfair jury, then. Be a rigged jury. Um, Dong. Basically, dude, you know what I'm going to do? Just to, just to piss everyone off, no matter what the conclusion is, I'm going to dissent, so it, it has to be a hung jury and go to a retrial. <laughs> just, like, it's clear the guy's, like, everyone's like, yeah, he's guilty, and, like, they're about to turn it. I'm like, actually... No, he's not guilty. He, no, he's innocent. <laughs> <laughs> this, yeah, like this, this guy is innocent. I'm like, actually, mm, I don't think he is. I just don't trust him. I don't trust him. What does that mean? You don't trust him. I just don't. <laughs> yeah, you just stick with So him. in that case, though, don't they have to just throw it out and do a retrial? I don't know. Right. I mean, doesn't the, the jury has to come? They have to be to unanimous. Him. Yeah. So if, if like one person is saying no, then they have to have a unanimous decision. So like how many how many <laughs> cases have been decided by like just some asshole that wears down everyone cuz he's a like a I don't think a lot that's why deliberations go on for so long because like when deliberations keep going on and on it's because they can't agree uh or they keep wanting to look at evidence. and they eventually just get tired out and agree on something to end it like which is that is that how you want a case to be like decided at the same time it, what's 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 weird is uh it's weird i could I don't know. It, like I could go and then end up being in some fucking multi month long case every day and then just be like, all right, bye, Ryan. <laughs> and then every single day just be fucking sitting in court over some stupid shit. Just depends. All right, guys, can we just say he's guilty so we can get this over with? Why Caitlyn not? Jenner runs over a, another family. Yeah, I would love to be on that jury. That'd be pretty sweet. Sorry. I don't know. I mean, that sounds good enough to me, guys. Shocks to shock. I just want to go home, guys. She said sorry. Can we just call it a day here? Yeah, you know. <laughs> guys, can you just please? Like, I, I really can't right now. Guys, she said she really can't right now. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to be here. If they, 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 they comp you, I'll get a nice 12 bucks a day or some shit. Okay. You're earning a living, finally. It, it also, it's great that the, the courthouse I was assigned to is incredibly far away from from where I live, so I have to be there at like seven a.m. Okay. every morning. I'm really excited though because you live in Valencia. I, I I'm really excited though. I just didn't. I kind of bummed. I pushed it all the way to March, but I was like holiday season, way too busy with super mega and everything, and I'll just six months from now. So you guys can listen. I'll make sure I. I after every day I'll come back and I'll, I'll I'll make sure I report on I just don't understand the rules so I come back and everything I just say it all on the podcast like yeah so in the case that I'm I'm a part of right now uh just talk about all the evidence they hey, that's throw one it out. Way they, that's one way they get kicked out you know to not have to do jury duty I'm pretty sure I would get in legal trouble for that too so would they just it'll suspend? be funny like would they be like you're suspended I'm like oh, <laughs> damn you know would they have to throw the, the trial out though can okay, you just like in the middle of the trial just be like, damn, that sucks. I'm just going to keep making loud noises while I'm sitting there in the jury. Just like, <laughs> like blow your nose. <laughs> yeah, some people blow their nose like so goddamn loud. Um, okay. Uh, anyway, so my, my client, has, my, my client, as you can see, um, there, there was clear, clear alibi, right? And and the prosecution would would <coughs> that <coughs> the, pro, the prosecutions mm. w- would like you to believe the prosecution would like you to believe that you know my my client it, oh 
So, sorry, do you need to step out? <laughs> that could fucking uh, in Bruno when Bruno gets like the the extra role. Yeah, on that show, uh, the medium. And <laughs> yeah. Bruno's like, <gasps> pulls out a cigarette and starts smoking it. <laughs> Bruno's so fucking. That's such good. a good movie. I, I well, okay. So I read that that scene where Bruno is like in the like jury, uh, and like act, like ruining all the shots. The, That's all like scripted, right? The, okay, so the the like production company was work like was it just like pranking one of the actors? The product like the the producers knew were in on it, okay. but I, I don't think anyone else was. I think maybe the main actor might have been, but everyone <laughs> okay. else wasn't. So like so, the crew's like, what is? Yeah, the crew's like, <laughs> and it's just like lights up a cigarette, it's like cut, cut, and they're like, can you, can you? I mean, it's like the overreacting. Like <laughs> yeah. the best part is that Bruno cuts off. They're like, cut. Could you do that again? It's gotta be so like how. I could not help myself to laugh in those situations. Like how Nathan Fielder pulls off the best like straight beat. Every now and then you can see something really kind of like jars him or like surprises him. I watched him. one the other night where I, where I saw it caught him off guard where he convinced the guy to legally change his name to Michael Richards. And he's like a thousand dollars. He's like, that just seems a little low. And he's like, well, what would be suitable? And he's like, honestly, anything over a thousand, I'm happy. And he's like, so what, what about a thousand and one? And he's like, yeah okay and he's like great so for a yeah. thousand one dollars you'll change your name to michael Richards. Like, sure sure and like you could see he's like taking a back by he's like okay yeah. oh. they're so great they're the greats dude yeah michael I, I richards think, i think that what like what keeps you uh i think it's the adrenaline cosmo kramer it's the it's like it's like you're performing on stage it's the adrenaline you got to keep character also i wonder if that guy's name is still michael richards I wonder if he ever got to change back or if he just kept it as Michael Richards. Let's find out. Basically, Nathan, for you, they, he was trying to make it look like Michael Richards came and left a $10,000 tip uh, to give like a restaurant some publicity. So, so, they, so he hired a Kramer impersonator. Yeah. <laughs> so he had to teach him not to be Kramer, but to act like Michael Richards. And then he realized like, well, like <laughs> they always show the receipt, so it really had to be from someone named Michael Richards. So he had a guy legally change his name to Michael Richards and then open a bank account to put the ten thousand dollars in. I like when he's on the phone trying to get people to do it, and he and he's like, "Did he no. say that was a good me?" What does he say? I don't think he says. I think he just walks does he not out. say anything? No. I, feel, I feel like he said something. I'll have the veggie melt. <laughs> Maybe it's that was Kramer. <laughs> but but I like that he uh uh he's like talking to people on the phone trying to get people to like he's like. Just people named Michael Richards. And he's like, no, that's so you're basically asking me if if I can if I if I could send you ten thousand dollars and then you'll send it back to me. Yeah. No. <laughs> like because like the way he explains it just sounds like the biggest scam. Of course. Oh, it is a scam. But it's a hilarious it's not, scam. I wouldn't say it's a scam. I'd say it's like a an art it's an art heist. project. It's a heist. You know? Like dumb Starbucks. It's an art project. And the guy's like, well, well, what if you get sick? And he's like, well, that's part of the artistic experience because <laughs> there's no like safety regulations. I still can't believe they got the person to make the poop ice cream. Very first episode. That's such a good show. It's coming up on being 10 years old. I, I kind of like that. It's unfortunate <laughs> that it's no more, but I think that's what I, I like when things are ended before mm -hmm. like it's just running on or whatever and i never felt like it even was close to that you know i, I yeah. felt like there was a lot more they could there have could done. have been at least two more seasons three more seasons i think that like when i watch it i always get kind of bummed out because i'll find myself just scrolling through each episode like wanting to watch the interview so bad but i'm like i've seen these ones so many times yeah. already i uh. it's just, it's it's never like the first time the no. first time is like always the best i watched a bunch of episodes i watched like 10 or I started watching COVID. Seinfeld recently. Oh, speaking of that's something Kramer. I started, and I, like I've never seen a single episode. And uh, it's uh, the thing that I like about it is that it's like watching a play, like old sitcoms. I never thought about it like that, but it is just a play. You have the audience there; they yeah. perform. They have to remember their lines, and they're rehearsing, and it's all very kind of uh, performative and showy. Yeah, yeah. I really, really, I really like that aspect. It's it's really charming. Cause like I'm used to the that style of humor, but in the curb your enthusiasm, uh, kind of realm. Yeah, because it's very just kind of held, held uh, handheld camera and not cinematic, I guess. 
but not sitcom. Yeah, it's it's more like uh, it doesn't feel like it's necessarily on like a sound stage with an audience. Yeah, I didn't know Big Bang Theory is legit in front of a live audience. Yeah, I, I thought that they I always went added to that the stage when I came here and did a did a tour back in like 2012 or some shit like that. So if they mess up their lines, they just like take it back. Mm-hmm. Oh, fascinating, fascinating. Because I always thought that they just had to like put the pause in for laughter when they say a joke. I mean, like everyone has to wait a second and then continue. They do that for Disney Channel shit where they just add like a canned, like any show with canned laughter will just, that's why it's so kind of awkward. That's a good term. Canned laughter. It's going to be my next album name. Canned laughter. That's a good, that's a good name. I like it. What's the name that you and I came up with yesterday for like an that's indie That's going to be my band? clothing bread line. Oh, don't, no, please. Come on. Don't do that, man. Dude, you already have your shit. I gotta, I gotta have something. You have the Ryan McGoggles clothing line, dude. Bro, let me have this. I'm the one that just said it was a good idea. This is, it, it's my idea now. Fuck. Wish that's how it legally worked. It's my idea. Well, your honor. You said it, said it's his idea now. <laughs> what? What do you want me to do? You mean a narc? <laughs> Come on. Busting my balls here. Case dismissed. I gotta... What was I going to say? Um, oh, yeah. We came up with a name yesterday for like an alt indie band. The Limp Wrists. The Limp Wrists. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We got to do that. That type of music's really easy to make. You can also just find like a million up for grabs tracks just to sing over. The Limp Wrists performing in Chapin, South Carolina. <laughs> Go over great, I'm sure. <laughs> hey, guys, with the Limp Wrists and... Uh, in Eastley, South Carolina. Where... I have so much family history. Easily South Carolina. Yeah. My dad went to high school. That's where Clemson is. His sisters went to high school. Clemson rocks a wonderful uh hold up one second. I gotta I gotta pull it up before I They're it's, talking about my college. <laughs> well, I'm talking about Okay. People get excited whenever we bring up Clemson. Yeah, they do. They're like, that's my college. Yeah. Fuck the game, Cox. 76% white. And you have a problem with that, Ryan? Six percent black or African American. Is that low? Hispanic. Yeah. Damn. And then I, it's like three point forty four percent two or more races. I knew that it was low. I didn't know it was two point four percent Asian. Wow. <coughs> God dang. USC's got a lot higher. It's just because the whites really love the backwoods. The backwoods. Yeah. I don't know when the next time I'll be going to the backwoods is anymore. No? I mean, don't have grandparents anymore. Oh, the backwoods. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, I mean like, li- like, middle of nowhere, upstate South Carolina was where they lived. And, like, w- middle of nowhere. Like, mm. super, super just rural. So, they lived in a little trailer out there. And I, I, I don't know when I'll ever go back there again. So, RIP, man. You never saw them to begin with. Pfft. It's not true. <laughs> I said I saw them at least 10 times. <laughs> at least 10 times. Yeah, as they got older, ten to they, fifteen. Yeah, as they got older, they just you know kind of got more isolated and and just kept to themselves and lived their their little lives in their trailer. And I don't think they ever even knew what Super Mega was. Good, that's for the best. Yeah, my I, I they, they my wouldn't. grandmother knows like of what I do. She's never gonna watch my stuff. My, she doesn't my, know how to, and I and I and I think it would be best for her to never see it. Yeah, and well, my grand my grandparents have never even used a computer. Uh. They don't have Wi-Fi. They never, you know, yeah. they only only had a landline. That's it. And they had cable and that's it. So they wouldn't go out and see movies. They wouldn't, you know, they go for the walk around Walmart every day. Boring. And if they saw Super Mega, I don't even know what they make it. Because first of all, they were inc- ins- insanely religious their whole lives. My grandpa said he never drank alcohol once. Damn. See, like I... I I do have just kind of like a, a history in terms of Walmart for like a span of like a few years when I was younger, my grandmother, like I would spend the night at my, my Oma and Dodo's house. That's on that Dodo juice. <laughs> yeah. Have some Dodo juice. And then, uh, I'd have Oma's rice. You know, it was, it was like a big birthday like thing. I'd have Oma's rice, which is my favorite fucking meal. Uh, I'd, I'd be in this room where like there were a bunch of old kind of like knickknacks and shit collected from overseas back where they lived uh before moving to america and it was just like so cool there was like a big like 
pirate ship kind of thing that now my I think my mom has at her place. And I remember we'd get up in the morning pretty early and for a birthday treat, my grandmother would take me to Walmart and I could uh, buy a reasonably priced toy. Ooh, that was always so exciting. Or she would buy one. Like, like going to like Walmart? Going to the toy aisle and just being like, could I get away with getting this? Can I? Because sometimes you know you're going to Walmart and your your parents are just like, I just need to go. Like how we go to Walmart now is like, we just need to go. Well, we don't. I'd never go to Walmart, but I guess how we would go to Ralph's. Like, I need milk or I need something. I need something right now. Yeah, I don't really want to spend a whole lot of time in the store. Sometimes it's nice to just walk around at Target or Walmart. Yeah. Like, and just look at everything. I like the mall, like Americana area. That's, I like walking around like where it's, there's a lot of different stores or whatever. You know what's, what's really nice? If I'm bored, I'll just put on my headphones and I'll just walk around Target for like three hours and just like be like, I'm sure there's stuff that I need that yeah. I never think about I need. So I'll just go down each aisle and just look at it and be like, oh, yeah, okay. This would be interesting to have. Yeah. My place needs to smell a little better. I guess. It's like, it's like stuff that like I always are like, oh shit, I need to get that. But I never write it down or remember. So then when I go through, I'm like, oh yes, I do need trash bags that size. Yeah. Oh, I do need more paper towels. I have so many paper towels in my house right now. I set up an Amazon subscription for paper towels. Massively overestimated how much I would be using paper towels. And uh But that's I, good. Yeah, you know, it's you good. Paper towels for you're hoarding paper towels. I got a bunch in my pantry. Dude, I'm gonna dude, I'm gonna take a picture and I'm gonna put it on Twitter and I'm gonna cancel you. Dude. People need those paper towels. Well, okay, well there's no longer a shortage of paper towels. At least where I in like Ralph's and when Bonds I say a lot, I mean shit. it's like 15, 14 rolls. <gasps> so it's not like an excessive amount of paper towels. I'll go through that in a couple months. Donate them. Oh, well, I mean, I don't need to donate them. I already opened them. Some of them. I'll give them the goodwill. Throw them in the basket. <laughs> just opened paper towels. <laughs> like just rolls of paper towels that have already been like half used. So we're like only half, <laughs> half big. Yep. So when I go Someone to the will bin, use them. I don't know. I feel like they'd have to throw that away. If like I threw just like toilet paper and paper then towels. Then it gets donated to the garbage. Exactly. Donated to Mother Nature. <laughs> to, the, to the recycling. I wonder how much like recycling just gets ignored. Like you sort it and stuff, and then there's yeah, just throw it all on the same shit. I'm sure a good amount of it does. Also, like I wonder how much recycling they have to throw out because of like one little thing where it's like they have a huge load, and it's like oh, there's some fast food in here. We gotta dump the whole load. Yeah, because they know? don't have time to fuck. I wonder how picky they are with it. And also, I've I've asked this before. I don't know if it's worse to throw away recycling. Or to put trash in the recycling. Is it worse to put recycling in the trash or to put trash in the recycling? Catch my drift? That is an interesting quandary. Speaking I've always, of trash, I've always here's some more ad reads. After years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by big wireless providers, if we've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. So when I first heard that Mint Mobile offers premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month, I thought, what's, what's the catch here? After speaking with them and using their service, it all made sense. There is no catch. Mint Mobile's secret sauce is that they're the first company to sell wireless service online only. By cutting out retail stores, there's no crazy overhead costs that get passed down to you in the form of mystery fees. Instead, Mint just passes on sweet savings directly, that's right, to you. You know, I, I love Mint Mobile. It's so fun. When I start up my little businesses, like, you know, I've talked about them in the past. Now, I've started a popcorn business, but instead of popcorn, it's pop shrimp. It's going to blow up. And I'm, I, I'm got, I got all my employees Mint Mobile phones, and it's just a, a cheap way for all of us to stay connected. All plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. And if you're not 100% satisfied, Mint Mobile has you covered with their 7-day money-back guarantee. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash supermega. That's mintmobile.com slash supermega. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash supermega. That's right, Matt. Sl slash supermega. Every organization has its own secret sauce that makes it unique. In fact, our organization has many secret sauces. In fact, our organization has a lot of secret sauces that we will not be sharing with any of you. But whether it's your product, your people, or your culture, the software you use should help support what makes you successful. 
not force you to change to fit to rigid rules. And that's where Monday.com comes in. Monday.com Work OS is a flexible platform that fits our organization and can fit any organization in any department so you can create workflows that fit your needs. It's a customizable platform that gives teams the ability to easily create the work software they need and want for their organization. A real-time collaborative doc, CRM workflow, HR management system, marketing dashboards, you name it. With Monday.com, teams are much more productive. They can automate tedious work in seconds, saving emails, meetings, and meetings about emails. It's easy to plan projects, update statuses, give feedback, and decide next steps all in one place. That saves tons of time and human error, which leaves you more time to focus on the work that makes an impact. Nice. We love being organized here at the Super Megaplex, and Monday.com's work OS is, is fantastic and super fun. Yeah, it's great for uh, organization and our sweet little business. Create the perfect workflow for your team with Monday.com Work OS. To start your free 14-day trial, go to Monday.com. That's it. Oh, that's it? Yep. Go to Monday.com. Nice. <sighs> Matt just went and harassed a homeless man outside of our house. He yes, was, he I was did. throwing sticks and stones, so... Granted, he couldn't help it because of, you know, his, his mental illnesses and drug problems, but it was funny when I pants him and tabletop him. Oh, yeah. That teamwork. Don't say I was the only one harassing him. Table don't, topping takes no, two. Come I on. Know. But like, who's the one that pushed? I don't want to like, I don't, I don't want to put us too much. Cause we did, we did do that to the, to the old man in the, at the Americana. He came by our table and we were hanging out. Matt and I went and hung out. We went, we got some Din Tai Fung with Epic Tess. Mm -hmm. and, and this uh, old man came up to us and he uh, was like. High ass shorts, high white <laughs> yep. socks. Like all blue too, like blue shorts, blue socks, with like a fanny pack. Sweet old man. Can I, oh, I hope you guys have a good day. And we're like, thanks. And he starts walking away and he stops and turns around and he goes, you guys got time for a quick joke? Yep. And, and then he really, pulled out the chair. Yeah. And then he sat down at the table and I was like, uh-oh. And then he told us a joke that I, I, I mean, I, I guess I got the joke, but mm -hmm. we, we were all like, <laughs> yep. that's awesome. And he was having a good time. Yeah, too. He had a good he time. He was smiling. And then he, then he, and then he left. And as he was leaving, uh, Matt pantsed him and then he pushed him and I bent down in front of him and you know so. cracked his teeth right on the fucking curb <laughs> it's so funny he never seen like, an old man cry like that. <laughs> I know it was almost made me almost made me feel bad but like I've never like a grown man crying in pain is like something I, I haven't seen in a good long while no nah, not since uh, your mom you know yeah your dad but like yeah no I, I almost felt bad for him but I don't know. When I looked and then just saw his underwear was down too. Like the, the pants scene was, I didn't expect to, to get the underwear too. So the fact that his, his little twig and berries was out, <laughs> yep. I couldn't stop laughing at that. Yeah. He's smoking a pancake, cigar and a waffle. Ew. What? I hate the thought of cigar and waffle together. Like cigar with food is just gross. It's a gold member reference. I love gold. I hope Austin Powers. I meant to. I'm literally meant to say Mike Myers. I hope Mike Myers is doing well these days. I think he's just chilling now. He's just chilling. Uh, cashed in those those Doctor Evil Austin Powers checks. Greatest role was in Inglorious Bastards. I forgot. Honestly, dude, I think that he is just set for life. Shrek, Austin Powers, Shrek being the big one. Austin Powers helped, and then Shrek, I think, just skyrocketed his bank account to to the moon, baby, to the moon. I mean, fucking like, you know, he invests in Dogecoin. Oh, of course. He's like, he's a Dogecoin billionaire. Little little known fact about Mike Myers, actually. He's really big in a Dogecoin. Also, yeah. uh, I wanted to surprise you, but I can't keep it secret. I got a guess for next week. A guess for the podcast? Mm -hmm. Or like for this podcast? Next week. Okay. Who is it? That's Cap. Doge? Elon, Elon Musk. Musk. He's coming on next shit, week. dude. I loved him in his SNL appearance. I know, dude. Okay. I, I, I don't know. How, I somehow did it. I don't. I reached out to him. I think it was a shit, like yep. a, a shit shot, and he just said yes. That is Cap. He's excited. He's, <sighs> he's really excited. He loves our videos. I had no idea he even watches us. So uh, next week, ladies and gentlemen. We can give him some merch so we can wear, start wearing it around. Mm, okay. He can ditch his little blazer. No, he could, he'd still wear the blazer. He could just put the... the like. Just Kawhi Mega, Kawhi Mega underneath it. it, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, our, we're doing reprints of the old stuff, and God, it looks fucking good. Yeah. I saw the mock-ups, or not the mock-ups, but I saw the first run of the uh, the new Kawhi Mega and Thank You shirts. Our, our, the fucking print quality is like... Our merch boy sent us a lot of, uh, a lot of 
very awesome videos and pictures Ooh, of his yeah. cock and balls, but also of the merch. Yeah. That I, I was only expecting the cock and balls, but the, the goddamn dude, it's fucking, it, it looks so good. I'm so excited. Like the print quality is like unreal compared to the past merch runs. Not it's like you, you can like look at it under a microscope there's and that, see those smooth edges. There's the book, you know? Oh, yeah, out. the book. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's coming sooner than people think. Yeah. People might, but, even, but yeah, I don't want to, I'm not going to say anything. Just uh, keep your eyes and your ears peeled. Definitely keep those <laughs> eyes peeled. Definitely keep those ears peeled. Hey, man. It always bothers me. Keep those that, lips peeled. That's, <laughs> keep those lips cracked and, and, tra- and chapped. <laughs> hey, man, keep your lips chapped. Uh, <laughs> ah, I love the lipstick design. Oh, that's blood. Okay. <laughs> Dude, chapped lips are fucking... Uh, like, you have you ever just, like, seen... Okay, do, do, you, do you remember... Do you, do you know people that took Accutane? No. It's, it's like a extreme acne medication. I would never hang out with someone who would take it, so... Well, they would. Well, I would also never hang out with someone that has acne. But uh, the people that would take it would. It's because they'd be like, "Oh, I want to hang out with them, but I have acne." So they yeah. take Accutane. But Accutane dries out your face to such an extreme degree. We're that, so awful when we're young, dude. When we treat people like like it's the acne shit, where it's like, oh, they have acne, so it's like, yeah, dude, what the fuck? Like that's that's the stupidest fuck. It's like, yeah, um, little fucking monsters we are. Dude, middle schoolers and high schoolers are fucking evil. <laughs> yeah, they, they are, are, dude. It's like fuck, they're like, the most evil creatures on this planet. Wait until those school. Wait until they like realize that school. acne is not just a thing you have as a teenager, and you'll still get it in your thirties and forties. Do you feel like they're still as horrifying as they were before? Do you I think, think they're, they're even they're more worse, horrifying? Dude. I think they're worse because of the internet. Fuck, man. I think those kids because now they're more desensitized heartless, and heartless monsters. Yeah, dude. But Accutane dries your lips out. Like I, I had a couple friends that that used it, and like it makes your lips like it. It makes your acne fucking. You're done. No more acne. I remember. But you have a couple months where your your skin is like so dry. That's like that's, y- you could see it like all over your face. That's how it works. I think I like in high school or college maybe I was like using some like proactive cream or whatever on my face, and then like when I started using it, my my whole like face was like super dry, and I. Like for the, for when it, I first started using it, I'd look in the mirror and I'd see kind of like the dry skin. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's how it gets, because re- acne fucking, it's because you have too much oil. So the medicine's like, all right, well, let's reverse it, but extremely I think, I think sometimes it. I could feel my face hurt because like, of how dry it was. Accutane was for like that level of acne. No. I, I had a, I had two oh, friends. God. I had two friends. That's that, embarrassing. Right. I knew one. Imagine I, that and being bald. Oh my dude, that's the fucking, I, I, I couldn't. I, and I being fat, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like body shaming, just like for someone no out reason. there right now. That's like, I mean, I know he was joking, but <laughs> just looks in the mirror and he's like, but, but I mean, dude, acne. Who fucking cares if you have acne? Everyone gets acne. Yeah, you can't help it. It's genetics. My my ass looks it's like pop. It's not going to define you as an adult. Unless you have acne as an adult, then it will define you as an adult. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm pop tart ass in my friend group. Yeah, that's what they call me. Several reasons. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm legit. Legit frosted pop tart to the boys. I don't. mm, I don't get acne anymore. Like legit. I just stopped like just drinking milk, and then I stopped getting acne. At least for me. Obviously, it's different for everyone. But when I when I drink, wait. Why are you making that face? As if I I just have. I'm so oblivious. Like I'm just literally like pizza face. Like what? I don't get acne. No, I I, I, I was doing the binocular shit to Matt. I used to get a lot of acne. Uh, and now, like I told you, like if I eat a bowl of cereal or have some milk and Oreos, then the same week I'll break out. Okay, it's always the same place too. Hey, Matt, I have a question for it's you. It's always actually. right here. I have a question. What? What's the most you've ever lost on a coin toss? Uh, I don't know. Call it. What? Call it. Heads. You're a lucky man today. It actually was tails, so... I was gonna shoot you like this. (laughs) Ah! Ah! 